Hello Capricorn, how are you today? This is your September reading and it is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. So let's take a look and see what the energies have for you for the month of September. All right, cutting the duck. Let's see what the overall energy is on the bottom. Ooh, Ace of Coins, Capricorn. Look at this. We have the Magician, Ace of Coins, the Magician. Oh my gosh, the Lovers. <laughs> the Page of Swords. Okay, interesting energy. Okay, this is your reading. Okay, this happened also to Taurus. This is really, really funny. Okay, so we have you manifesting a new love. You've made the offer. This is somebody that you have been watching very closely. It looks as though you want to marry a person or have stability, but this is a soulmate relationship. This is a new beginning for you. Capricorn, welcome to your reading. You are all about business. You may have met this person at work. I'm getting the energy that you are also probably building something very special with this person, like a project, could be literally building. The Nine of Wands, you have not felt this fired up in a long time. You are going to have to make, you are at the cross in the road and you have to make a decision. And I see you making it with ease. You feel as though your ships have arrived in the harbor. You have the courage and the strength to do what is needed for this relationship. This is going to bring you into happily ever after energy with someone who you've loved, who you've not told, and this person is unaware. You're in this energy of moving forward. It looks as though you have manifested this divine energy. We have the soulmate, the magician, and we have you throwing caution in the winds. You are going to ask somebody for some sort of exclusive commitment, Capricorn. For some of you also, it does look as though you're at a crossroads in your career. It looks as though you've been learning how to do something new, and it does look like you've manifested a new energy and a new environment in which to earn money. For some of you, it will be an online platform, and for some of you, it for somebody here, and I'm, this is just coming to me out of the blue, but I know to listen to my hunches, you're going to get the chance to be a coach. Uh, coaching young people, probably it's something, it could be mentoring, it could be coaching, it will be different for different people. But you have an absolutely lovely expression of commitment, look at this, two commitment cards fire in your belly and the courage to manifest this beautiful happiness. You have money in the bank coming in, new money coming in. An investment of some sort is paying dividends to you now. The magician card means that you saw this investment. It would be like the equivalent of having bought McDonald's right when they went, you know, to public right when you could. I'm getting for many of you, you may be buying a new home, you may, getting, you may be getting married. This is incredible. I don't know what it is, the earth signs are really, I was gonna say on fire, but you're not fire. Oh my gosh, okay, so we need to dig in here and see what some of these clarifiers are. So what does, we don't even have a bad, there's not even a negative card here. This is crazy. <laughs> you are like a steam engine moving forward to your happiness. The only card that I see you have here is you needing rest. And after all this energy, after all this lovemaking, after all this fun and, and things that you're doing, hard work, I'm getting that you do need a nap. Who wouldn't? The energy that is clarifying, the Ace of Coins is making magical moves as an emperor. The sun card moving towards your lover, your beloved, the person that you are couldn't be happier with. The fool card saying that it is really time 
to have a new beginning. I feel as though you've known this person for a long time. I feel as though the two of you have had perhaps some sort of secret crush. Yeah, there we go. A secret crush that you felt you had to walk away from at one time because you were married. Capricorn, I'm not seeing a divorce, but I do see the Libra card. That's like the Judge Judy card. I see you manifesting this energy. And again, with the King of Wands, all this fire here, you are after, oh my God, your divine feminine. Look at that energy. But you had to make a choice. The Lover's card is a choice, and you made a choice. You made a choice to leave something else behind. Look at the Emperor card, bookending this relationship. Why is the Four of Swords here? You are tired. Ooh, you thought you were going to lose this person. Your person walked away from you. That is what happened here. They were sad without you. They wanted you to choose them. The person that made you happiest walked away from you. And they, they made a head over heart decision because you were, it looks like you were in a committed relationship, if not married, Capricorn. And it looks as though your person is holding on to their heart. It looks as though they were wounded and now they are happy. Both of you are throwing caution to the winds. You both have fire in your belly for the relationship. This is phenomenal. Wow, two of cups, a new marriage. You know what's so funny here is I don't see the engagement. I see the engagement ring. Wait a minute, I saw friendship here, I thought. No, I don't. So it does show that you've been, you have known this person though for a long time. That's what I'm getting from this reading, Capricorn. Okay, oh, there we go, the star card. That is wish fulfillment, your hopes and dreams for love come true. This was not supposed to be a love reading, but it is a general reading and we take it whatever direction it needs to go in. You made a choice for happiness. You feel financially stable. The person you're with is financially stable. Your divine partners, your person left you behind at least until you decided to make them your person long-term commitment leaving one relationship that has been unfulfilling for a very long time it's been like a placeholder i don't even think that your partner that you're leaving is all that upset i don't feel that they are yes you know it's sort of a sad moment you you enjoyed some good years together but i'm really getting that you are with your soulmate your person and the whole situation around this is difficult for both of you because I believe that you knew each other. I feel as though your person felt, though, that you are much more like a friend. Yeah, you had really gotten to the point. Both of you wanted adventure. Both of you wanted something bigger. Both of you wanted something better. I don't really see this as being a, any sort of a bitter situation. I feel as though it... It was inevitable with the way the energy was flowing. Let's look and see what the Four of Swords... We have some unhappy cards here. The Moon card, the Four of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. Let's look and see what that energy is. What was that energy? What was that energy for Capricorn friends? What was that sadness? Feeling depressed, I think, is what it looks like to me. Really feeling depressed. What was that about? The question, the question, oh, the question. The question was always, what are you going to do? Who are you going to choose? Where is your fulfillment? What is your true North Capricorn? We're going to take a look at the Moonology deck and see what Spirit has to tell you about the timing. Beautiful energy, Capricorn. It's so funny because your relationship, your primary relationship to the person with whom it appears you were married is not even really showing up as like being a heartbroken energy. Interesting. A new start is coming and that is a new moon. Okay, so there is your new beginning. The cards have 
spoken. Spirit has spoken. Let's look at your energy, your High Priestess Oracle energy. What is the energy here? This is, you know, the High Priestess is always somebody who's very wise, who keeps her own counsel, keeps their own counsel. Let's give us the energy. Two cards for Capricorn, please. Two cards for Capricorn. Deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences, and isn't that what the Lover's card is about? Soul mates, divine partners. One more card for Capricorn, please. Let's see, we have Shamanic Journey. Purpose, attunement, vision quest. You were meant to be together, Capricorn. I want to thank you for your views. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you would, please, it really is the only way a channel can grow. I so appreciate all your views and your support. Thank you and sending you love from Chicago.